We're going to look at six wave movement of the spine. So this is a really great way to move your spine every day to keep it mobile and keep it feeling nice and free. So we'll start on all fours, wrists beneath, elbows and shoulders, knees beneath hips. And just take a moment there to feel nice and strong in that position. We'll start with extension and flexion. And to prepare, you want to draw the ribs in, draw the belly button back towards the back body. So you've got a nice stable front body. As you inhale, slowly bring the belly down. Checking that you're not dropping into the spine, but rather keeping length. Almost pressing the hips back and the shoulders forward, lifting the chin and the gaze. As you exhale, curl around and really press the space between the shoulder blades up towards the sky. Feel as though you're pushing the ground away with the shins and the hands. On your next inhale, belly down, shoulders back, lift the chin and the gaze. Exhale to curl around. Inhale to lift the chest and the gaze. Exhale to curl. You can repeat that quite a few times. Just particularly be careful with that back bend that you're not dropping down into it. You're staying strong in the front of the body and with the bend that you're really looking at the upper spine, so the thoracic spine pressing up to the sky. And the next thing we're going to do is a lateral movement, side to side. We'll walk our hands to the left to start with. You're just allowing the spine to make a gentle curve but trying to keep length both sides of the body so you're not getting super crunchy on the left side. You're keeping some length. I always find it useful for the left hand to come across to the right ribs and feel as though you're breathing into the ribs. So as though that, the ribs are expanding into the hand. And slowly through centre. And exhale to the other side. And same again on this side. Maybe the hand reaches across and you really feel as though you're expanding into that hand. And release down, back through centre. You can move side to side a few times, just allowing that lateral movement. And then it might almost also feel good to allow the hips to hang back. And maybe even rest the forehead down to the child's pose. Again, just allowing the right side of the body to lengthen. Inhale to lift up. Exhale from centre over to the right. And again, hang back, allow the left hand side of the body to lengthen. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, back to centre. So we've done our extension and flexion. We've done our lateral movements. And next is the rotation. So starting with the right hand, inhale to lift. And you might bring the hand to the side. You want to lead with the chest. Maybe the hand goes up to the sky. But just notice if you don't want the shoulder down and the hand up, you want the chest to be open as you lift up. As you exhale, thread through, maybe the shoulder and head come to the ground. But if they don't find it comfortably, you can always stay a bit lifted. Retrace your steps, inhale to lift up. Exhale, thread under. Inhale to lift. Exhale to thread and hold down. And then returning up to all fours. Inhale, left arm lifts high. Exhale to thread under. Inhale to lift. Exhale to thread. Inhale to extend. Exhale to thread and hold down. And 
and then back to all fours. So we've moved our spine three to six planes of movement. You've gone side to side, forward and 